So, let me tell you a story. Yesterday did not go to plan. I mean, it was fine. Like, it was not, not the end of the world, but it didn't go to plan. For those of you that follow my Instagram, you may have seen, uh, yesterday I flew from Kuala Lumpur to Chiang Mai. Two and a half hour flight, should be nice and simple. Um, left my hotel in KL about 11.30 got the midday train to the airport for a three o'clock flight. No worries. Got to the airport, check-in was slightly chaotic, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Air age, everything, so you go and you print your baggage tag off, put it on your bag, take it to the self-drop off, etc. Um, and long story short, my bag was about a kilo overweight. No big drama, except it was a big drama. Um, I was quite happy to pay the extra money for it, but it's going to keep it at the desk. And I got to find at the desk, and they're like, oh, it's only a kilo, just put it in your hand luggage. And I was like, oh, don't really want to do that, but I'll just do it. And I did it, and it took longer than I thought. Then went to some lounges, which I'm going to do a little lounge review of later. Um, and actually, after then, the airport was fine. Got to the gate, boarded, left about on time. And we're taking off, we're flying. And the next thing I know, it doesn't seem like we're going very far. Do we have a Thailand yet? This isn't like Thailand. This is about this point, about half an hour into the flight. All of a sudden, the captain gets on the phone. Uh, hi, uh, we are currently circling over Ippo, um, and we will unfortunately have to return back to the airport because we have a technical issue with the aircraft. Fantastic. It's nothing too dangerous, nothing to worry about. It's just an issue coming up with the air conditioning. Now, when we're on the ground, um, the, they noted that it was too hot on the plane. So whether that was anything to do with it, I don't know, but it was decided at that point to continue. So you think, oh, fine. We're gonna have to kind of loop around a bit here to burn off some fuel before we can land. Pretty standard practice. Um, bigger aircraft can like release fuel. Um, but the small ones, the A320s and the 737s and things cannot. So yeah, I had to do some circling. I thought, oh, you know, how much, how much does it have to get rid of? So he goes away for a little bit, comes back like half an hour later. Yeah, so I, I think we'll be landing about 5.30. This is the time we're meant to arrive into Chiang Mai. So why they didn't just continue into Chiang Mai, I have no idea. Well, I do have a good idea actually. KL is the AirAsia's base. Probably easier for them to replace aircraft, repair the aircraft, logistically better for them. Brilliant. So you go in circles. Uh, occasionally the captain comes on the tannoy, lets us know they're trying to sort something out for us when we land. At this point, I'm, you know, I'm fine. It is what it is. These things happen, although it's the first time it's happened on 150, 200 flights I've taken, probably more than that. Um, but yeah, anyway, these things happen. But it is, I'm starting to get concerned because I don't know if there's any more flights today. Will they put us on more flights? Will they try and fix the plane we've got? Eventually they come on, we've got a new aircraft, it'll be waiting for you at the next gate, you land, move, sit at the other gate, we'll move your bags around, on you go. Fair play. So we land, at a time later than when we were meant to arrive into Chiang Mai, um, they then say, mm, going to be on the ground for a good hour. Um, disappointing. 
so we, we kind of sit while they move everything around. They do give us all little snack boxes we got the plane, and in fairness to them, as they got off the plane, all the cabin crew, and also they had some, some ground support people there, will apologise to you as you got off the plane, so you think you need this. And that actually was something that they did all the way through, which if I'm honest, a lot of airlines don't do that. Um, there's a lot of airlines out there that are, you know, I've had two hour delays on it, and you, you might get, oh sorry, there's a delay, and that's it, and you'll never hear from it again. So fair play to them. They're, I thought from a customer service point of view, they were very good, and actually it worked. No, there was no one got really angry, you know, people were just a bit, okay, sirrah, sirrah. Um, so fair play to AirAsia there, and they had sorted out a new aircraft, you know, we continued on, and then we landed about four hours late, which, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it's annoying. So sit rep is I have landed back in KL uh, after the plane went technical. Apparently there was some problems with the AC, but it seemed fine. Um, anyway, we had to fly around for two hours and burn off fuel. So I basically landed in KL at the same time I was meant to land in Chiang Mai, which to me seems a bit of a waste of time, but there we go. Um, we landed, given a little snack box, which had some cheesy crisps, a bottle of water, and some cookies. So that's something, I suppose. And apparently this is our replacement flight, which is waiting down here. And we should, they still reckon, be taking off about 6.55. But yeah, it was just, it's just an interesting story because I've never had before um, uh, the need to uh, kind of return back to base after I've had technical problems on the ground and you know delays for various reasons but I've never actually had a plane have to turn up but I've been sat on a plane on the ground while they're fiddling with it but I've never actually had to turn around before uh, and fly back so yeah you know fair play to AirAsia I think they did a really good job at sorting it um, but it's just a bit frustrating that it happened but hey home anyway that finishes my tawdry tale Thanks very much for everyone who watched till the end. I know it's a slog. Um, please can you like and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching. Bye.